Uh, but I did notice that there was just enough room to put the Crew One sticker up on. Yep. Oh, here they come. Here they come. The Crew One astronauts now beginning their journey to the launch pad ahead of this historic mission to the International Space Station. Outside the ONC building, we have friends and family gathered there to, for final goodbyes prior to liftoff with our astronauts. And that's a very different thing to the shuttle days. Um, the last time we saw our families would have been at what we call the wave across the ditch, you know, the day before launch. And, and typically um, for shuttle launches, you would have um, employees and, you know, people that would come out to, to wish us well. I think it's a very special thing that the crew's family Families get that up close and personal right before they get into the crew transport vehicles to the pad. Uh, you notice everyone keeping is a safe distance here, um, but that distance would be enforced regardless of whether COVID-19 was uh, a factor in in what's going on. Um, that would, you know, that distance is maintained regardless. Like I mentioned before, there are three Teslas that will be taking our crew out. In the first car, we will have a close out lead as well as a couple of suit technicians. Uh, the second car will be Mike Hawkins and Shannon Walker as well as our flight surgeon. And then the last car we will have Victor Glover and Suichi Noguchi as well as one of our leads. So like I mentioned before, the, the suits are assigned, the seats the capsule are assigned as well as the seats in the Teslas. There's no fire drills happening here today. <laughs> so Ichi. You can hear just some ambient conversations uh, between the crew and their immediate families. Such a special moment for them to have. Um, Very. This crew has said a couple of times that Suichi is the funniest one of them all, and that comes out here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can definitely is, see absolutely. that. You know, this is all very carefully choreographed. Um, you can see, you see in one of the shots some of the ropes and stanchions, but there are um, lots of people involved in the planning of uh, where the immediate families are going to stand, where the small uh, contingent of media will stand, um, especially in COVID times uh, where we have to make sure we're keeping the crew safe and their families safe. They were able to have a little extra time with their families yesterday because we moved off of yesterday as the launch day. So they had a little extra downtime that yeah. I imagine was nice for them. Yeah, you mentioned that everything is very well choreographed. Um, you know, while this is the first time that we're seeing the crew uh, make this journey to the pad on, you know, the day of, fingers crossed, we don't have a scrub. Uh, we They have performed this a number of times, including a dry dress earlier this week. Mm -hmm. um, but everything that this crew does is rehearsed many, many times, whether it's putting the suits on or taking them off. <laughs> or even the operations and activities that they have going on during the mission. Everything is rehearsed and practiced. I can tell you though, on the real day, it feels a little different. <laughs> I have no doubt. <laughs> Immediate family members getting a chance to have another moment with the crew before they leave. And then you'll see some of the folks there in the blue flight suits. Those are um, astronauts from the astronaut office active that are um, working as crew support astronauts for the families and, um, and the crew.
Station Demo 2. Um, you can tell which Teslas those are because of the sticker in the lower passenger side front window. SS bound. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I think another one might say later Earth. <laughs> this is Core on Countdown 1 for Timeline. The crew is departing for the pad on schedule. All right, so we just uh, from the Core that the crew is departing for the pad, uh, and they are right on schedule. Again, they are leaving the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building, now beginning a 20-minute ride, uh, 20 minutes or so across NASA's Kennedy Space Center. They're going to drive right behind where we're sitting. We can't wait for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and out to launch pad 39A. Now, there are scores of people around the world watching and cheering on these four souls, including many team members who helped get the crew here today. Take a look. 